welcome back friends the last video we have uh, uh, covered api gateway part how to implement api gateway how to route the request to various services using api gateway this part we have implemented the routing concept we have done using configuration through configuration we have achieved the achieved uh, routing part okay if you want to uh, uh, route the request to account services product services reporting services we have not done any coding part through configuration we have achieved that okay today we are going to see some additional information about the api gateway for example um, whenever uh, get a request from the client i want to log something i want to log something and uh, that example we are going to see okay um, after that, we're going to see how to do the custom routing. How to do the custom routing? Okay. What is what do you what do you mean by custom routing? For example, um, this is the uh, Eureka naming server, right? The Eureka naming server. We have registered all the services. It's uh, it uh, it's, it shows config service, product service, account service, API gateway, reporting service. I have not started. Okay. Um, the, as of now, four, four instances are registered inside a Eureka naming server. This is part of our micro microservice uh, environment. These three services running under microservice environment. If you want to route our request to the account service or product service, we can easily achieve that. We can easily achieve that through configuration. Uh, let's take one scenario. If there is a, some services, some external services, that services not part of our microservice environment, not part of our microservice environment. Uh, how do you route those services? How do you route the those services? Whenever client request, uh, whenever client requesting some external services, I want to route those external services, but that external services not available part of microservice environment that meaning that service is not registered inside the Eureka naming server so api gateway definitely cannot route right in such a case we have to implement custom routing we have to implement custom routing through that we can achieve that okay i i have already done that i have done those examples already see this is the building building is a one one spring boot application it's a very simple application okay it has a one controller it has a one endpoint okay this endpoint if you want to access this endpoint what you have to do this is a port number 8083 right 8083 okay if you want to access these services we need to say http colon localhost the port number slash this path api slash external slash building so to access this particular endpoint we have to use this particular endpoint okay let me open browser this is a building service okay this is a building service i am accessing this building service then there is another uh, service i have created shopping service this port number is uh, 8082 okay 8082 if you want to access that services we have to use this endpoint local of 8082 this port number is 8082 then ap external shopping So this is shopping external services now these two services not part of our eureka naming server part of our eureka naming server that is it's not part of our microservice environment it is separate application separate application uh, running individually okay now i want to route to this service whenever client requests the service i want to route to the service how to do that that part we will going to implement now this is my API gateway. You can see here there is a one configuration file I created. Gateway configuration. This should be a configuration file. This file get invoked at the time of starting our API gateway. Okay, at the time of starting our API gateway. Here I am 
saying root locator get gateway router then root locator builder this is the method signature we have to overwrite we have to create we have to create inside that i am defining root root so return builders or roots root dot predicate actually this is dot root this is a predicate function it's a java 8 feature if you want to know about more about the predicate please check the java 8 predicate function okay inside a root method i am saying predicate spec then predicate spec dot path if any request coming with this path if any request coming with this path from the client please route that to this service that is the meaning of this line what i am saying api external shopping let me open the shopping shopping service if you want to call this endpoint we have to use localhost called 8082 api external shopping this is a api external shopping right if any request client request coming with ap external shopping in such a case please redirect please route to this particular uri that is the meaning of this okay and here again i am saying dot root if any uh, request coming with country header country header here i am saying i am here i am checking path here i am checking header if any request coming with uh, uh, country header please route to this particular service this is a billing service this is a shopping service this both are external services okay so based on the some condition based on the some condition i am routing to particular services particular external services not part of our internal services not part of our microservice uh, services okay these are external services if any request coming with this path i want to route to this particular service if any services having a header country i want to route to this particular services okay now we will go into ex um, execute individually this each, each services you already executed right uh, shopping is working billing is working shopping that is port number is a one yeah three 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 i think yeah Okay, now I want to call the service via API Gateway. Okay, for that, I have given this configuration. Okay, whenever I start this application, our Spring Boot API Gateway, our API Gateway app, read this configuration. Read this configuration, remember this configuration. Whenever any request coming with this path, re redirect to this particular URL. Whenever any request coming with this particular header, header, head, header, header name this header name okay redirect to this particular uri now we are going to test it i will do it in postman okay this is our api gateway right local of 8081 is our api gateway uri after that after the api gateway url i am saying API external billing. The in what scenario this will work? API external billing. I am not mentioning here. API external shopping only I mentioned, right? API external shopping only mentioned, but here I mentioned API external billing. But I am adding a header, country equal to India. I am adding country equal to India, right? I am adding country equal to India. If any request coming with the country header, I want to route to this particular thing. Let me execute. So this is a building service. This is a building service is coming. Now second is any um, request coming with this path. I want to route to this particular service. For that API external shopping, right? Shopping. Here API external shopping. The my path is API external shopping. Here also API external shopping. If any request is coming with this path i want to route this particular url let's see that i'll remove this country now see shopping 
external service, shopping external service. I am calling this particular endpoint. Okay. So this is the way of doing custom routing, custom routing. Okay. Now I want to call again a billing service. External billing. Okay, I'll going to call now. This time I'm getting the error from the API gateway, not from the this URL is not what it's saying because problem is I am not passing the header here. I'm not passing the header. Okay. The condition here is if the request having a header country, if you request having a country header, then only I want to route this billing service. Okay. So um, here we don't have a header. Now I'm going to add the header. See, it's now it's working. Okay. Then you can play with this uh, uh, route route dot even you can play with a lot of uh, uh, conditions let me show that pre predicate predicate spec dot see here you can see at that path we already used then you can see here um, cookie you can check with the cookie you can check with the host you check in with the method if it is get method a root root uh, root to this particular URL. If it is uh, particular host um, a root to this particular URL. If it is cookie name, if they if there is any cookie name, um, if if they if you find this cookie name, root this particular URL. Like that, there is a lot of option we have just to play with that. Okay. Then filter. Uh, part of Spring Boot course, right? I have covered the uh, filters. Why we are using filters? Even I uh, implemented the JWT token. How to implement JWT token in the filters? Okay, uh, please check with my Spring Boot um, uh, course. There is a one of the topic. Otherwise, I will put that description in this video description. I will put that link. Uh, please check it out. Okay, filter when uh, filter when the filter will call whenever request. Before processing the request, before processing the response, that time filter will call, right? That time filter will call. Okay. Now I want to validate something. Before processing a request, I want to do some validation. So in such a case, that corresponding code, the corresponding code implementation, we have to implement inside a filter, inside a filter. Okay. Here I have mentioned authentication filter, but I am not uh, doing any authentic authentication here. Uh, name is uh, wrong then okay uh, yeah just i'm logging some print statement okay uh, this filter must be annotated with, annotated with the component then implements global filter okay then we have to over in method called filter method inside the filter method what i'm doing there is a two parameters server web exchange exchange then gateway filter chain gateway filter chain there's a two parameter from the exchange attribute from the exchange attribute sorry from the exchange parameter I'm saying exchange dot get request dot get path dot value. Whatever request coming from the client, I want to get that path. That path value returned by this particular method. I'm assigning here. Then I'm checking um, this particular path. This request path equal to this particular URL. If any client request uh, coming uh, coming with this particular path, I am logging one information, calling from external system. Then I am printing that path, calling from external system. I am printing that path. Then if any request having a country ID, any request header having a country key, just I am printing here, calling from external system. I am pasting. The, I am printing that request path. Okay, hmm. let's check this now. It's working or not. One more thing I'll going to add. If extend dot get request path request path dot equals ignore equals of 
equal of let me open uh, account service api slash customers api slash customers okay If any path comes with API slash customers, I want to say this is from internal system. Okay, that's it. Let me restart again. So I already started, I think. Put registry. Yeah, register. Let me clear this. Now I'm going to Postman. Calling the billing service. It's external system. So here it's coming. Calling from external system API. External API slash external cell billing. It's printing right. Now I want to call the shopping. Shopping. Let me clear this. So it's calling from external system. Now we're going to see external service. Okay, sorry. Now we're going to see internal service. How to route the internal service. So here is a, uh, another condition I have added. Uh, this is for uh, uh, internal services. So if any path coming with api slash customers i am saying calling from internal system then i am printing that uh, uh, request path okay now here account service slash customers right let me clear the api gateway log Now I got the response. See here. Now I got the response. Then check the log for API gateway calling from internal system API slash customers. API slash customers. Okay, so so if you want to print any log, if you want to do some authentication, if you want to monitor some calls, those activities you can use in filters, API gateway filters. Okay. I hope you understand about these filters and uh, custom configuration. If you have any question, please comment me. Definitely, I will answer you. Okay. The next uh, session, I will going to start either circuit breaker or a spring cloud slip. Either one, I will going to start. Until then, bye bye from Suresh. Still not subscribe this channel? Please subscribe it. Share this video to your friend circle. Click bell icon for regular updates. Thanks for watching this full video.